Hello, everyone. We're so glad you're here. I know there's a lot of people that are excited about today, and I hope we fulfill all your fabric dreams. So the reason we decided to do this is right now, we would be in Maryland at Fort Frederick Market Fair. It is one of the biggest fairs that we're aware of in the United States, at least on the East Coast. And it's something we've done for, whoa, 25 years maybe. Um, it's a great time to catch up with people that we haven't seen after the long winter. And we always have lots of goodies that have been storing up over the winter that we're able to bring out and air out and sell. So it's always a fun time. I'm dressed uh, to honor that. I've kind of got a mashup going on here. I have on my bag gown, I got on my handkerchief, and then I've got on my modern clothes because, you know, who wants to wear stays? Anyway, no, they're fine, they're fine. I like stays. It's just if I don't have to wear them at work, I'm good with that. Um, so we have a special correspondent with us today. Melissa's husband has kind of been hanging around all week. So I thought it'd be a great idea if he went out and scoped out Fort Fred for us. So anyway, let's go to Carson and see what's going on at Fort Fred. Hey, Carson. Oh, hi, Angela. <laughs> it's, it's me, uh, Melissa's husband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, am I on? You're on. Well, hello there. Yes, my name is Carson Hudson. I'm reporting for Burnley and Trowbridge here at Fort Frederick in Maryland for the fair days, the market fair days. And, uh, well, <laughs> uh, I might say some of you might already know me because uh, I am a well-known, renowned historian with five, uh, count them, five books available on uh, Amazon.com. <laughs> also, uh, some of you might be aware that I am a, uh, a world-famous musician, recording artist. Uh, I have four CDs, which uh, are also available on uh, Amazon.com. Uh, they, they make great coasters, so buy a bunch of them. Uh, I also uh, I, I, I am known as Inspector Hudson. You might have seen me in my role at Colonial Williamsburg in the Museum Murder Mysteries at Colonial Williamsburg, Inspector Hudson. And also, <laughs> I'm sure that many of you out there know me because I am uh, an Emmy Award-winning screenwriter. Uh, for many films, yes, many films, uh, but uh, who's counting? Uh, anyway, I'm here, uh, Angela, and I'm Hi. here at, at Fort Frederick. Uh, things seem to be quite slow right now, but I'm sure that... They're slow? Wow, Carson, I'm sure it'll pick up. I'm sure every everyone will be there soon enough, soon enough. You know, well, well, the crowds, yes, I'm expecting imminent crowds here, and, and whoa, 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 I, I, I... Thought I saw someone, but no, it's nothing. Never mind. <laughs> well, I'm here. Hey, Carson, you just hang tight, okay? You hang tight there. I'm sure somebody will show up soon. So, Carson, I just wondered, what were some of the things you were thinking about getting Melissa when you went shopping for her? Uh, well, actually, I wasn't thinking of getting Melissa anything. Oh, well, you know, I heard that she needs a new pair of stays. A new pair of stays. Yeah. Those are, uh, well, where would I get them? Well, you could try Red Threaded. That's one of the places we love. Red Threaded. Wait, yeah. Wait. So, you know, actually, since we're doing this virtual thing, um, Christina is going to pull people up. So she's going to go to the web and pull up people's pages for us. So excuse us if there's a little laggy time Sure, here. Red, red Threaded for Stays. Red Threaded for Stays. You definitely need them. All right. Uh, I, I guess I could, yes. You guess you could? There they are. And they are wonderful because you can get her off the rack stay. stays yeah yes so you know and also you know i heard her say that she's not going to have time to do a lot of slow, uh, sewing you know clothing wise so we've got a, a whole list of like different places you can go to buy ready-made clothing and one of those is sycamore springs clothier 
Now the, Sycamore Springs. Yep, Sycamore Springs Closer. They are great ladies. In fact, they have taken loads of our workshops and it reflects in the beautiful clothing that they make. Oh, all right. Maybe. Yeah. All right, second more sprint. <laughs> oh, and you know what? There's another company that does some neat kits because I know that Melissa likes kits. So, and she also does accessories. You could check out Long Creek Mercantile. And Long Creek Mercantile is pretty cool. They do these neat kits. And I think if you look at their front page, you'll notice that there's a lot of B&T influence there. Mercantile. Yeah, they like our linen. So you know that if you get something from them, they're going to get some really high quality textile. Yes, I know you have a lot of <laughs> linen because you were making me move it around in the warehouse when I was there earlier this week. Yes, yes. Well, you know, Carson, busy hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I, I do appreciate you having me here, by the way, at Fort Frederick. Did I mention that I'm, I am a, an actual descendant of a real 18th century person? Really? That's versus a uh, horse, dog, or other thing? No, Ancestry.com does not lie. Ancestry.com does not lie. Okay. Well, we're all descended from something, aren't we? Anyway, on to shopping. So, I know that Melissa has made some really cool bonnets. There's another company out there called Kitty Kalash that does beautiful bonnets. Now, we've known her for a long time, and she started going down the bonnet rabbit hole, and she's made some beautiful, beautiful bonnets that you guys can check out on her website. She's also doing some 18th century silk covered hats, all that good stuff. So, you know, guys, I know I'm trying to sell you fabric, but there's lots of cool stuff out there to buy, along with our fabric. Of and those people will be showing up here, right? At Fort yes, Frederick. they're all going to show up. Just hang in there. Hang in there. Maybe it won't rain on you. Um, <laughs> and then we also, if you guys are looking for wigs, there are, we've got several wigs listed, uh, companies listed below. Again, not everybody's on there. And if you guys think of somebody, put it in the comments. We love to know about new merchants that are selling 18th century goods. Uh, we basically stuck to the U.S. Sorry, all of our European friends. But you guys have your own list of wonderful people that you shop with, I know. And some of you shop with us, which we appreciate. Um, so we have cuffed and coiffed. And they do beautiful wigs. So they only have a Facebook shop, I think it is. Isn't that right, Christina? A Facebook shop? Yeah, yeah, they're only on Facebook, so yeah, it's a little but, hard for me to pull up. another place that you can go to. And we've got a couple of other wig companies listed as well. And then, of course, when you get to jewelry, all of us have a passion for jewelry, right? And I know Melissa does too, Carson. So think about it. And the queen of bling is my good buddy Taylor from Dame Zala Mode. I happen to be sporting a pair of her earrings, which go with everything. Um, I wear her every day. She, I'm a convert. I'm one of those ones that said, I just can't wear bling, Taylor. I just can't. She, bleh, she gifted me my first pair, and I've been addicted ever since. Dames a la mode. Dames a la mode. I will check her out. Yep. And, you know, I think Melissa's favorite colors are things like green... Maybe a little purple. Yes, her hair is purple now. Yes. Some two, yeah, purple to match your hair. That would be perfect. I love it. Um, also, you know, we used to be in the shoe business. Did you know that, Carson, that we were in the shoe business? Yes. In fact, I have purchased shoes from you in the past That's for, some, right, you for some of my historical yeah. impressions. Working at world-class museums such as Colonial Williamsburg, Jamestown Festival Park, and Yorktown Visitor Center. Not to mention Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and numerous other museums around. But the, 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 well, was that digress. was that yeah. before or after your Emmy? Did I mention that I have an Emmy here for screenwriting? <laughs> Carson, we're very impressed with your Emmy. Thank you. I just you. want you to say. I just want you to know that we are very impressed. 
Are you going to write us a screenplay? Certainly. I, I, I was working on a theme song for you, perhaps in a future episode or something or other. That sounds excellent. I'm sure I will want to Is hear Is there anything it. else that Melissa we'll would like? Yes. Well, you know, we used to be in the shoe business. We are no longer in the shoe business. So we, there's not a lot of places out there to go for shoes, but we've listed a few places. And we've got American Duchess, of course, which is known throughout the historic community. And they are now making men's shoes. So you can get your men's shoes there. We also have a company that was recommended uh, to us by Cheney McKnight that is a Turkish company. And they are making, am I correct, Christina, Turkish? And they are making a slipper in the same method as it was made in the 18th century. So if you're looking for slippers slash mules, this is the place you want to go. What is the name of the place? It's called Sabah, S-A-B-A-H. I am trying to pull it up. And she's trying to pull it up. I'm trying so coming. hard. Now, if we have any glitches and you don't see things, folks, don't worry about it because we got a huge list for you down below okay so when this goes on to our youtube channel you'll have all that information there and as i said before and i'm going to say it again if you know of great places to shop we want to know about it too because we're all a big community here and we're all little businesses and we all try to support and help each other out um so did you get some i got it aren't those pretty oh my gosh blue i love them so anyway Chini swears by them now. I think that she probably sleeps in them. Okay, but um, like, look at these ones. Huh? For modern. There you go. So now Christina's dive. No, we're talking about. I'm sorry. Style. I'm sorry. Get on it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, you know, I have miscellaneous because one of the fun things about Fort Fred is all the amazing artisans are there that are there. Excuse me, that are there. I happen to be really, really partial to pottery and I have lots of potters that I collect from. One of those potters are my good friends Sue and Joe from SJ Pottery and I will tell you and I'm not I'm proud to admit it my dogs drink out of mocha ware bowls and eat their dinners out of mocha ware bowls because Joe makes the most amazing mocha ware. I, I um, don't see any potters here. No potters. Oh, they'll be there soon. Hang in there. Hang in there. Don't All don't right. go anywhere. You stay there. In fact, okay? I don't see anybody here but me. Um, they'll be there. I promise. <laughs> sort of. Shh. Anyway, so there's SJ Pottery, beautiful stuff, and then there's Goose Bay Workshops. Now, I'll tell a little quip about this. Mr. Peter Goble, the owner of Goose Bay Workshops. And his wife Deborah, I have known for many, 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 many years. And I have many of Pete's, uh, what would we call them, Peter? Prototypes? As he was learning the coppersmith um, to coppersmith and he was doing tin smithing, we met each other on Long Island and they moved to Virginia and we moved to Virginia. And literally they were one of the main reasons that we ended up in Virginia because Deborah is very persuasive and I will forever thank her for it. Thank you, Deborah. But they have some really cool things. And a little side note there about Pete and Debbie. If you go and look at all their products, if you go and watch Muppet Treasure Island, which is one of our favorites, and we are going to talk about that on a future live, um, you will see tiny little copper and tin goods. Those were all made by Pete Goble. So go watch it again. So there's a huge list of people on our, uh, down below, and I'm sure that there's plenty more that you guys can think of. So... Do you got a lot of ideas there, Carson? I, I do. I have more ideas than I have money. Anybody shown up yet? Uh, well, I, I thought I saw somebody here, but no, I did not. The, the ranger was looking at me kind of strangely, standing here by myself in a field for three days. Maybe there won't be rain in the forecast. I hope it's sunny for you. Why couldn't you afford a motel room? Why did I have to use this 18th century tent? 
Because that's what camping is all about, Carson. Get with the program. All right, you guys. So you're here to go shopping with us, too. I know you are. And we're excited about it. And we hope you're excited about it. Um, so for starters, for those of you that are new that have never been to our website, we're going to give you a little quick tour of our front page and how you get to our different um, sections of our website as soon as Christina does whatever it is she's doing. I'm adjusting some sound. She's adjusting the sound because I'm either too loud or not loud enough. Chances are. Right yeah. We're testing new uh, mic equipment. This is an ongoing thing. It's called the Great Black, uh, um, what do you call all this stuff we buy? What is it, Christina? Uh, equipment? Uh, equipment? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The Great Black Equipment Ho. It's all good. So, um, our website. Our Pop it up, girl. I am getting it up now. Nope, that's the wrong one. Hold up. <laughs> She's looking at somebody like else's so many, website. Guys. What's up with that? Okay, we're on our website. We're on our website. So if you go to our front page, some of you may have heard about Temptation Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, this was the brainchild of our good Miss Brooke. We put up new product because I get things, sometimes I get things in huge lots. And there's, if we put it all up, you guys would like do this uh, and you wouldn't be able to buy anything because you wouldn't know what to buy. So she allocates it and that would be the mailman bringing you your packages. So she allocates it and puts it on for every Tuesday so that you have something fun and exciting to look forward to. And she always puts our new arrivals on the front page. So if you go to the front page, you're going to see the latest things that we've just gotten in. Now, that doesn't mean everything we've gotten in by any stretch of the imagination. You'll also find whatever is coming up as far as a new sew-along or tutorial or a new live, etc. Those typically are on our front page as well, or if we have a new workshop. Um, so if you go up to the very top and go to our bars, we've separated our fabrics into sections. And those are based on the way you can buy our swatches as well. We've also got sections for all of our different types of notions, etc. We also have a section for accessories. And that's where you'll find our handkerchiefs and our shawls. Um, we also have a, a special section. And in that section, you're going to find some of the things we're going to talk to you about today. And you're also going to find um, when we do swatch, are swatches under that or are swatches on their own? Swatches are under fabric. Okay. Fabric swatches. Okay. So when you want swatches, you can go to fabric swatches. And if you're not sure about where something might be, shooting us an email. Hey, we're there. We'll answer your question and make sure that you get the right packet. So... Once you've had your little tour of our website, we're pretty easy to shop with. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, there's always somebody at the other end of the email. So shoot us an email and we'll get back to you fairly quickly. Um, I think we're going to get on with our specials. And I've got Melissa here with my market basket. Look at this. Oh, oh. Hey, I don't want to sell this. I'm going to keep it. Am I done with like the real hard producing now? Yes, hard producing is done. We're now going to look at all the pretties. So we've done this before, you guys. But we're doing our little bundles again of ribbons and trims and things like that. We've got, we've got them set up. Now, this is where if you don't have your piece of paper and your pencil, you need to write, get, I'll give you a minute, run. Get that paper, get that pencil or pen, because you're going to want to write down what you want. At 4.30 today, Brooke has it scheduled for everything to go live. So put it in your cart, 
and check out. If you fill your card up, but you don't check out, somebody can steal it out of your card. This is a great game, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. It's insane. But they can. They can steal it out of your card. So you've got to check out. So, like, have your list ready and go bing, bang, bong, punch, and go. If you don't have an account with us, take a minute while I'm babbling and make an account with us because it makes it quicker for you to get online. So I'm going to start with our little bundles that we have here. We've got silk ribbons. Now these are a fraction of the original price. This first one is R-B-U-N-1, ribbon bundle one. So you can just put one or whatever. They're all going to have the same numbers. So R-U-M-B-1. And this is $7.50, and it's got approximately 12 plus yards in it. And you can, when it goes live, you'll see that it's a combination of two inch, half inch, and one and a quarter inch silk taffeta ribbon. So that's R-B-U-N-1, black and white. I've got R-B-U-N-2. This is our bundle that's got red and orange in it. This has approximately three plus yards, and it's only $1.50. RBUN3. This is our pink bundle. It's nine plus yards. Now, keep in mind, all of these are pieces, so some can be as small as like six inches, and others can be close to a yard, but it's all going to be less than a yard pieces. This kind of stuff is good for, you know, little bows, for your dolls, your dolls, your dolls. Hmm. You know what? I think I need to send this off to Carson. Melissa would like this. Am I back? Oh, yes, I am here. <laughs> hey, Carson, check out that ribbon. Yes, it came out of nowhere. Is it raining ribbon? Our I'm going to rain somewhere. <laughs> RBUN3 pink ribbon for $4.50. Sounds like a bargain. It is a bargain. I would take it. Well, folks, if you've got that written on your list, we'll see if Carson buys it before you do. But I'd keep it on your list for now if you're smart. So let's go on to RBN4. RBN4 is all of our purples. This one is 450 and it's about nine plus yards. So it's loads. And then we've got RBUN5. I sound like I'm, doesn't this sound like bingo calling? It sounds like bingo calling. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> RBUN5. We've got blue ribbon, three plus yards at $1.50. We have RBUN6. RBUN6 at $7.50. And this is somewhere in the neighborhood of 11 point scribble, scribble, scribble yards. Uh, Angela, Somebody... there is a, a question. Emily's Vintage Visions says, uh, so is each ribbon piece less than a yard? Yes. All of these are pieces. They can range from six inches to under a yard. So, and we can't tell you what those pieces are. Um, it's, it's a bundle. You're getting little scraps that you can do this, that, and the other with. Um, they're going to range also in width. You'll get some half inch, you'll get some one and a quarter inch, and you might get some two inch in there. So our last ribbon bundle is our Padua Soy. We've got a whole big bundle here. It's assorted colors. It's seven plus yards, and that is RBUN7 for $8.40. So this is a nice, healthy bundle here. All right, has everybody written their list? I hope so. Cecilia says this sounds like an auction. Yeah, sounds like bingo to me, but auction is good. Except I can't talk fast enough to be an auctioneer. That's my caffeine, you guys, because otherwise I would not have made it this afternoon. I'm just, just happy I have time to read the comments now. <laughs> so we're going to go on. More bundles. Now we're going to go on to cotton tape. This is one big, lumpy bumble, bump, easy for you to say. One 
big lumpy bundle of cotton tapes. It's a miscellaneous, it's white, naturals, blacks. There's some a little bit of cotton cord in here. Again, under a yard, some pieces as small as six inches. It is 15 plus yards and it's called T B A G one. So tape bag one. And it is only $2.30. You can't beat this with a stick. And this is another good deal. This is all of our linen bits. So you're going to have anywhere from 3 eighths of an inch all the way up to an inch. Combination of plain woven, uh, twill woven, um, linen cording. But again, pieces all under a yard, approximately 23 yards or more in total, and it's $13.18. This is tea bag two, so tape bag two. And then the final tape bag is gonna be our wool. And this again is assorted. You're gonna have anywhere from half inch to an inch uh, tapes in various colors. Some of our new colors are in here. So like if you just wanted samples um, This has got 10 plus yards in it and it is a total of $18 and 90 cents and it is tape bag. That's T bag three So that covers all these little bundles all the bundles if you have any questions, I know that Brooke is downstairs and she can write it in for you because she probably has all this memorized by now because she had to input it all into the computer for you guys. The other thing that we have, now I'm going to preface this by saying that these are shop worn. Uh, some of them, they may be a different color from what we're carrying now. All different variety of reasons why I have these up here. But these are handkerchiefs um, that have either hung up in the shop or, like I said, different colors, and they're discounted. So the first handkerchief is H A N 1 2, so that it's H A N 12. It's our normal H A N 12, but with an S at the end. It is our indigo spotted, and it's slightly faded, so it has a really great look to it. It is $18. You know, I think Melissa would like this too. Why, what could this be? It's a faded spotted indigo handkerchief. Faded. Eight, only yeah. $18. Yeah, it's discounted. Oh. And you know what? Carson? Yes, what? That's a deal. A lot of people pay to have their stuff already faded. They Just do. Just saying. They do. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, sure. I'll take one of these also. Okay. Again, Here. folks, if you've already got it on your list, don't worry about it. I know, Carson. So the next one up is HAN8S. So that's our normal HAN8, and this is the second. This is also a shop sample that's been hanging up so it's slightly faded and this is also eighteen dollars a yard one of our red spotted next one up is han 19 s the color has changed it's a different red from this red so this one is twenty dollars versus our normal 25 that's a, a fantastic discount han 19 S. Then we've got HAN 39 BS. I didn't say that. Did you say that? I didn't say that. HAN 39 BS. And this one is 20 also. This is, was a for example. Um, we have changed the color. As a matter of fact, this is the new color because I wasn't getting enough contrast between my brown and my red, but a lot of people love this. So if you didn't get one the first time around, you'll never see them again. Now's your time, $20. H-A-N 39 BS. And no, I'm not handing you any BS. This next one is H-A-N 17 S. Color has changed. That's why it's discounted. It's been hung up, so it's a little crinkly up there. 
and it is also $20. And there are a couple of these that I have two of them. Oh yeah, the brown one that I showed you earlier, I do have two of those. Uh, this one that I showed you earlier, I do have two of them because the color has changed. And one is bluer than the other, but I can't tell you, you may be able to tell from the pictures. Um, this, this next one is our HAN11S. The only thing different about this from what we have on site right now is the color is a little different. Uh, we're going to, it's not quite the same color of purple now. So this is $20 also. There are two of those available. This one, the color has changed a little bit. That's the only difference. This is our HAN21RS, and it is also $20. HAN21RS. And there's only one of those. I then have one of my Adelie scarves. This is the very last of my Adelie scarves. I am not sure if I'll be getting Adley back in. So if you missed out on Adley the first time around, this was my shop sample. There's nothing wrong with it other than the fact that it's wrinkled on one end from being tied up and it is $20. So Adley S. And then I've got two of these. If you recall, we have this beautiful red and blue wool handkerchief, which is based on the DAR linen handkerchief that we reproduced. And these two handkerchiefs, I didn't notice it right away, but then the more I looked at it, I realized the border design is missing on two sides. Aesthetically, makes no difference. It's still a fabulous handkerchief. It just has a continuous, uh, how do I want to say, a continuous pattern without the border on two sides. So we've discounted these as well. And it is HAN37S and they are $40 and there are two of them. So those are the deals that we have in handkerchiefs. Those are the deals that we have in bundles. If you want any of them, make sure you've got them on your list so you can go directly to them. Use our search engine and just put that information in and it should pop it right up and make it easy for you to put it in your cart. Again, 430. So now we're gonna get on, oh my goodness, bundles and more bundles. So prefacing this, for those of you that have ever visited us at, at Fort Frederick Market Fair or at, at any fair really, we have we recycle everything, everything guys. Um, in fact, uh, Kate from Willoughby and Rose recently put a little post up talking about her um, housewife kits that she does. We she gets lots of bits of fabric from us. I we used to save when she lived here and could make it over here to pick them up. We used to save bags of offcuts for her and she would use them to make her housewife kits. So we recycle and one of the things we do is we would put a big table out front with very deeply discounted pieces. Typically these pieces are under a yard unless they're seconds like if they have spots or something like that so I have gobs of bundles here for you they are pieces a lot of them small pieces but they are discounted 50% and in the case of a couple of bundles which have some spots they're 55% off so you can't beat the price so get your pencils and get your papers ready again the first one up is S bun one, or is that right? S, yes. And that stands for Silk Bundle One. Silk, it is some of our pink taffeta that doesn't exist anymore. Um, and in here, you're gonna find, uh, oh gosh, there's some good pieces in this one. Um, the pink, I think, has a one and seven eighths yard piece. And then there's some smaller pieces like 10 inches, 15 inches, 17 inches, 25 inches. Um, I 
think that, yeah, I think that's it. I think the pink has a bigger piece in it. So there's a good deal here. I don't, don't like, I'm not sure, but I think. And Brooke, if Brooke remembers, she can say in the comments whether or not it's the pink that's that one in seven eighths yard piece. But this entire bundle, which totals, oh, I'm sorry, I misread. It totals one and seven eighths. It's got a 25 inch piece, a 15 inch piece, a 10 inch piece, and a 17 inch piece. So it totals one and seven eighths yards of fabric, and we are selling it to you for $20.62. Whoa, that was intense. A lot of math there. A lot of math. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Wait, did you just snort? I did. Okay. <laughs> I last snorted. Sorry. Um, <laughs> hey, we are selling fabric here. Let's get serious. Okay, we're very serious. Place. We're very serious. So super serious. So super serious. Super serial. Serious. Serious as a heart attack or not. Okay, so this next one is some of our herringbone wool that I wish I had gotten some but this isn't enough for me to do what I would do with it. But anyway, our herringbone bowl, it's a couple pieces, an eight inch piece and 11 inch piece. It totals about a half a yard and it's $3.95. So if you bought some of this, but didn't have enough for your cuffs or you needed a stomacher or something like that, this is your little bundle that you want. W-B-U-N-1, that's wool bundle one. Here we got wool bundle two, W-B-U-N-2, some of our olive green uh, broadcloth, beautiful stuff. It has an eight, a 13, and a five, and that totals what? I don't know if that's, huh? I don't understand. That does not add up to a yard. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing a number here because I know it was a yard of fabric. I know that that doesn't total a yard. Eight and five and 13 doesn't total a yard. <laughs> Carson. <laughs> no, it's not Carson. Carson's at Fort Frederick. He's not here. He's at Fort Frederick. Anyway. <laughs> This one's $15. Okay, well, somebody's phone. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that for <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. Mind you, you have 15 minutes left. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this one is $15 for this bundle. Next bundle, WBUN3. It's got some gray. It's got some black in it. Again, it's coating weight wool. It is $18.15. WBUN3. It has a 19 inch, a 17 inch, an 11 inch piece, and that is a yard and a quarter. Uh, holes are free. In other words, we measured past where there were some holes, so you actually get more than a yard and a quarter. Then we've got WBUN4. It's various colors of worsted. It's really pretty. Look, you could like do patchwork or whatever. So lots of colors. This to entire bundle is WBUN4. It is $20.12 and it has lots of cuts that range from 9 inches up to 20 inches. Uh, most of them in the range of 15, 16 inches. Oh, more. We've got o only a couple of uh, cotton bundles. Oh. Hey, this has Melissa written on it. Hey, I think this is supposed to go to Melissa. Should I let her have it? Hey, Carson. Hey, Carson. Carson, yes. Carson. Yes. You want to buy this for Melissa? She said something about doll clothes? Yes, she did. Uh, yes, it is muslin, and she definitely needs muslin for her doll clothes. Uh, I'm so, sorry I wasn't paying attention because I was reading one of my books on witchcraft in colonial uh, Virginia, Available from Amazon.com. Yeah, Amazon.com, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, oh, yes, this By looks... the way, Amazon does not sponsor us, just so you yeah. know, folks. This looks exactly like something that would be used in a pirate shirt. Did I mention that I have a book on piracy in Colonial Virginia? Also, Amazon.com. But anyway, yes, this is great. Here. So, again, if you want this bundle, 
it is Carson, so it probably won't be bought. Anyway, C B U N one, and the total is twenty eight dollars and fifteen cents. And you are going to get loads of. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces here for a total of four and a third yards. So lots of fabric. I just want to say very quickly. Um, I think it's, it's either Mary or Mari. Uh, it says, LOL, this reminds me of QVC back in the day. <laughs> I love it. To be QVC, I, I, I feel honored. It's good. So here we have some of Angela's amazing repro fabric. <laughs> and uh, this is CBUN2. This is our blueprint. This is $28.13. It has a one yard piece, two half yard cuts, another 31 inch piece and a 10 inch piece for a total of three and an eighth. Uh, it does have some step, a little uh, seconds. There is a stamp, like a maker stamp, like at the end of one. And there are some light yellow stains. Now I will tell you that Brooke got some of this. She washed it and the yellow, was, she never saw the yellow. So, uh, it's up to you guys, but it is a good deal at $28.13 and some decent pieces. Then I've got this little mix bundle. How am I doing this? Well, like this. Go, go, go. There we go. So you got some checks and you got a little stripe. This is linen BUN1. And this is some of our striped and checked. And I heard Brooke laughing downstairs, so I have no idea what's going on. But $12.25, you've got one, two, three, four cuts for a total of a yard and three quarters. And that is L-B-U-N-1. Then I've got linen, L-B-U-N-2. And this is some really pretty purple, a blue, and then a tiny tad of our logwood, which is left. So those three, I gotta hurry up. L-B-U-N-2, I'm being told to hurry up. $16.31, and you've got a 36 inch piece in here, and then a bunch of uh, 12 and nine inch pieces for a total of two yards plus. L-B-U-N-3 is black and yellow and red. You can see it this way, very pretty. And it is LBUN3, $23.31. These are medium weight linens. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yards or seven cuts for a total of three and a third yards. The red has a little bit of discoloration in the selvage. Two of those pieces are a 35 and a 30 inch piece. So you've got a couple of decent sized pieces in there. Then we've got a small natural bundle. LBUN4 for $7.88. It's got three pieces, a nine inch, a 14 and an 18 inch for one and an eighth inch yards. Then we've got some shirt shift linen, you guys. LBUN5 shirt shift linen, $20.63. It's got some uh, two third yard, mostly two third yard pieces, five cuts for two and three quarter yards total. LBUN6, another shirt shift linen, $21.56. This has got six cuts as well. These are basically approximately half yard cuts for two and seven ace yards. Okay, this is one of our seconds. This is LBUN7. This is 55% off. It is a big bundle. It is, it has stamps. Okay, so at the beginning of each piece, there's probably a stamp that says face. How you can tell the difference, I don't know. Um, this has 18 pieces total. They range from nine inches to 22 inches. It totals eight and a quarter yards plus, and it is 55% off at $56.23. Spread it, bleh, I've been talking too much. Split it with a friend. And then we got one more big fat bundle, LBUN8. This is shirt shift linen again. It also has stamps. It is $54.84. It has 18 pieces ranging from 10 inches to 22 inches for eight and one eighth yards. And again, it's 55% off. So that covers all of our bundles. 
<sighs> oh, you did it. I did it, but I got the best part. Do I still got time? We have seven minutes. I'm so we proud of you. My face is on fire. Uh, I'm, okay, that means I get to take a drink. Mm. And then I get to tell you something really. You should move the bundles a little bit, though, because they're why? all because, right in front of you. Why? Because they're all like right in front, <laughs> right, in, right in front of me, right in front of me. Okay. All right. Let me move these bundles so you can see my face. All right. Here I am. So the very, very best part of our night. Well, actually, this is all really good stuff. And so, Carson, how are you doing out there? Let me check on him real quick. I'm uh, getting a little tired of standing around here waiting for the crowds of people to show up. Um, so, Carson, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go ahead and start heading home? Because i got a feeling something's going on. And maybe Fort Fred isn't happening. I don't know. Did you hear that Fort Fred wasn't happening, Christina? Uh, yeah, I think they sent out an email. Maybe I didn't get it. Sorry, your, Carson. Your email is really finicky sometimes. It is. My email So really I'm finicky. up here in an empty field with cows and nothing's happening. You know what? Come on home. We'll worry about it later. No problem. I'm sure you'll be in time for a late supper with Melissa. All will be right with the world. No I'm, worries. I'm out of here. Bye, Carson. <laughs> So now for the very best part of our show, and Carson was a pretty good part, but this is the best part of our show. The best part of our show is we've got three codes for you. Not one, not two, but three. Is that it? Three. Yes, three. You know how we always have pieces on our specials? It's the very end of whatever we've got. Well, for this weekend only you can get 10% off of those pieces. The code for that, and it will be at the end of this video, is pieces, and make sure you spell pieces right, P-I-E-C-E-S. Okay, now you just like completely made me worry if I spelled pieces right <laughs> in the end. I hope so. Pieces 10 for 10% 10 off pieces when you get to checkout. Not only that, it gets better. Know our cotton velvet. Some of you have some of our cotton velvet. In fact, I know a very special lady who has some of our cotton velvet. And today is her birthday. So happy birthday, Abby. We miss you. We love you. And you guys need to sure to you need to be sure to tune in to Abby for her YouTube that's dropping this Sunday because she is doing Lady in the Tramp and she's using our silk and our velvet and we can't wait. So with that said, the next two codes are going to allow you to make your own Lady in the Tramp. And the next code is velvet. Be sure you spell it right. V-E-L-V-E-T. 15. This weekend only, you can get 15% off of our velvets. I definitely spelled velvet correctly. <laughs> That's good. And the very last one, and I hope you get excited because we got a lot of beautiful ones. We are doing a sell on our silk. So your last code is silk, S-I-L-K 25. You heard me right. That's 25% off on our silk this weekend only. So be sure and check the end card. We will have it down in the information down below. And folks, we um, are... What? You forgot announcements. Oh, announcements. They're not on my list. Uh, hold on. I've Here, I have a list. <laughs> Good. You make the announcements. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm supposed to not let you forget... Our <laughs> uh, hat mini sew along oh, coming right. uh, May 7th. And that's special because Melissa is actually going to be uh, the instructor. For that's that right. Sew -along. Melissa's so going to be cool. instructing her first sew along. So we're excited about that. Um, you'll get a little preview of how great she is. So you'll be all ready for all the workshops she's going to do. Do you, do you want to talk about the mitts pattern? Oh, yes. 
we, with Melissa, uh, Melissa as the engineer and Christina as the drafter and the make it look pretty, have come up with a new mitts pattern from Burnley and Trowbridge. And this mitts pattern is going to drop on the week of the third, sometime during that week. I sure so, hope so. <laughs> well, we've had we've had fitters who have gone and you know done mock-ups for us. They've they've sewn through our uh, directions, etc., and they've got their little commentary, and we're going to incorporate all that. And we hope that when it's done, you guys will find it to be an amazing pattern. And then we're hoping to possibly do a mitt sew along in the fall because Melissa has made mitts just about every way you can imagine making a mitt. And so we're excited to have her be a part of that. Yeah, so we're, make... um, we've done some really cool things with the pattern too, you guys, that yeah. I think you will like. You are going to have a lot of options uh, and particularly options that are rooted in historical methods for the textiles that you're choosing. And I think yeah. that's something that not a lot of other patterns have done yet. So I'm, I'm pretty excited for us to, to be able to right. do that. We think you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck. There's going to be a whole lot of options and a whole, a whole lot of opportunity to not only build a garment, but to learn about the garment. I should probably remind everybody too for the hat sew along. If you're looking to get your supplies, mm -hmm. uh, that is already up on our website. I think it's actually going to be on the front page this afternoon. Yep. Uh, so maybe about now if Brooke has gotten that up there yet. And uh, it'll be on the sew along page as well. So if you want to pre-order your supplies for that, you can do that. Yep. So folks, we are so glad that you joined us. And we're so glad that you... Uh, had an opportunity to meet Carson. <laughs> he was definitely a, a, a highlight of the day, wasn't he? Anyway, we are going to um, say goodbye, and we hope that you guys enjoy shopping. Hey, Carson, how the heck did you get back here so fast? Uh, magic. Did I mention that I'm also a member of the International Brotherhood of Magicians? Ooh, I'm impressed. Okay, so with that, why don't you magically make us disappear because I want to go home. Can All right, uh, yeah, Christina. <laughs> Did I keep referring to as Abracadabra? Oh, Abracadabra. <laughs> Bye.